Welcome to ProMagEnviro.com. Before we get started, there's something that we need to cover, right Karen? That's right, Bill. Before working on a pump, always follow the complete safety and operating instructions in the installation and maintenance manual. And don't forget the required personal protective safety equipment. Use of this safety equipment is mandatory. In addition to the precautions that come with your pump, you must always follow the recommendations of the chemical manufacturer or the material safety data sheet and check local codes for additional guidelines. Preparing the metering pump for service can vary by application, but in general will consist of the following steps. Pump a compatible buffer solution through the pump for several minutes to clean the chemical from the lines. Turn the motor on-off switch to the off position, which is down or to the rear of the pump. Disconnect the suction line from the pump tube suction fitting labeled in in the pump head cover. Before disconnecting the discharge side, bleed off any pressure then, disconnect the discharge line from the pump tube discharge fitting, labeled out on the pump head cover. Unplug the power cord. If the power cord plug end has been removed, modified, or the metering pump has been directly wired, do not continue. Consult an electrician to aid in disconnecting the pump from the electrical supply and to properly reconnect the pump's electrical supply. Open the front and back of the latches on both sides of the head. Carefully fold the latches back to prevent contact with the cover. Remove the tube housing cover and flip to use as a tool to collapse the roller assembly. The roller assembly needs to be collapsed to remove the tube. Align the center of the inverted cover with the center of the roller assembly so that the three holes on the face of the cover align with the three knurled lugs on the roller assembly. Position the cover feet near the tube fittings. Hold the pump securely. Use the tube housing cover as a wrench and quickly snap, rotate the cover counterclockwise to collapse the roller assembly. The tube will no longer be pressed against the tube housing wall. Remove and discard the pump tube. Remove the roller assembly and the tube housing. Set them aside to reinstall later. The shaft will remain in the pump. Use a non-citrus all-purpose cleaner to clean chemical residue from the tube housing, roller assembly, and cover. Check the housing for cracks and replace it if it is cracked. Ensure the rollers turn freely. Replace the roller assembly if the rollers are seized or worn or if there is a reduction or lack of output from the pump. Reinstall the clean tube housing. Apply AquaShield to the shaft tip. Install the roller assembly. Ensure the pump is off and the power cord is unplugged. Place the new tube in the pump head. Use your fingers to center it over the rollers. Place the tube housing cover feet first on the tube housing. Affix the front of the latches to the cover lip and then press the latches back to secure. Fixed output models manufactured after April 2011 are identified by the key slot in the rear of the motor housing. With the cover latched, plug the pump in and turn it on. Allow the pump to run the roller assembly in its collapsed position for approximately one minute to relax the tube. Turn the pump off and unplug the power cord. Remove the tube housing cover and flip to use as a tool to expand the roller assembly. The roller assembly needs to be expanded so the tube is pressed against the tube housing wall. Slide one latch out to remove it from the tube housing. Insert the latch end into the key slot in the vent in the rear of the motor housing. Align the center of the inverted cover with the center of the roller assembly 
so that the three holes on the face of the cover align with the three knurled lugs on the roller assembly. Position the cover feet near the bottom. While pressing the latch into the rear of the motor, gently rotate the cover clockwise until it stops. Holding the pump securely, use the cover as a wrench and quickly snap. Rotate the roller assembly clockwise to expand the roller assembly. The tube will be pressed against the tube housing wall. Remove the latch from the vent and reattach it to the tube housing. Apply a small amount of AquaShield to the cover bushing only. Do not lubricate the pump tube. Place the tube housing cover, feet first on the tube housing. Affix the front of the latches to the cover lip and then press the latches back to secure. To center the tube, ensure the pump is off. Lift the latch located between the tube fittings, leaving the end of the latch engaged with the lip on the tube housing cover. Leave the latch on the opposite side engaged. Plug the pump in and turn it on. Turn the tube fitting on the suction side not more than one-eighth of a turn in the direction the tube must move. Do not let go of the fitting until the tube rides approximately in the center of the rollers. Turn the pump off. Let go of the fitting and secure the latch between the fittings. Inspect the suction and discharge lines, point of injection, and the check valve duct bill for blockages. Clean and or replace as required. Reconnect the suction and discharge lines. Turn the pump on and verify operation. With the cover latched, plug the pump in and turn it on. Allow the pump to run the roller assembly in its collapsed position for approximately one minute to relax the tube. Turn the pump off and unplug the power cord. Remove the tube housing cover and flip to use as a tool to expand the roller assembly. The roller assembly needs to be expanded so the tube is pressed against the tube housing wall. Warning, only the Stenner fan brake tool should be used for this step. Insert the fan brake tool into the vent in the rear of the motor housing. The fixed output pump doesn't have a clutch, so the fan brake keeps the shaft from rotating when expanding the roller assembly. Align the center of the inverted cover with the center of the roller assembly so that the three holes on the face of the cover align with the three knurled lugs on the roller assembly. Position the cover feet near the bottom. Holding the pump securely, use the cover as a wrench and quickly snap, rotate the roller assembly clockwise to expand the roller assembly. The tube will be pressed against the tube housing wall. Remove the fan brake tool. Apply a small amount of AquaShield to the cover bushing only. Do not lubricate the pump tube. Place the tube housing cover feet first on the tube housing. Affix the front of the latches to the cover lip and then press the latches back to secure. To center the tube, ensure the pump is off. Lift the latch located between the tube fittings, leaving the end of the latch engaged with the lip on the tube housing cover. Leave the latch on the opposite side engaged. Plug the pump in and turn it on. Turn the tube fitting on the suction side, not more than one-eighth of a turn in the direction the tube must move. Do not let go of the fitting until the tube rides approximately in the center of the rollers. Turn the pump off. Let go of the fitting and secure the latch between the fittings. Inspect the suction and discharge lines, point of injection, and the check valve duct bill for blockages. Clean and or replace as required. Reconnect the suction and discharge lines. Turn the pump on and verify operation. Free shipping is available through our website at promagenviro.com.